is pretty popular. Everybody loves Shrek. Hey, Shrek. You are like so funny. Hey, who's your teacher, guys? Who's your teacher? Mr. G? No. Who? Nice there, how's it going?
Keep tape. We can cut it later. You gotta do a full. You guys did five seconds of the beat, and then you went and shot, shot them. <laughs> you guys each want to do it. Like you guys, that was very good. When Vince did it, then you did it. But why doesn't Vince do it again? Why don't you guys just try to keep one up on each other, on who does the better beat? You know the type thing.
pinch. Like I said before, on your grip, you always want to keep it in your glove so the other team can't see you or your grip. Like say if I'm about to throw my knuckleball in a game situation, I'm not going to wave it around in the air so the batter knows I'm pitching it. I want to keep it in my glove so nobody can see it. Don't show it until you're pitching. Next, we're going to talk about how you start now. Okay, you start with your heels on the rubber and feet right about here. First thing you do is take a little step back. Don't move your shoulders back because right after that, if you try to do this, you're going to be all off balance trying to pitch. And you can't pitch like that because you're not going to throw any strikes. You want to just stay like this, stay together, don't bring your shoulders back. Next thing is to turn your foot like this. With your foot, you always want to maybe make an imaginary line right out from the middle of your foot right here. Because then you'll know that's where you got to turn your foot so it's aligned straight to the catcher so you can throw perfect strikes. Let's do a little review of what we've done so far. What we start out is with our heels on the rubber. First step is to get your sign. Next, find your grip. Then eyes on the target. Rocker step back. Turn of the foot. And then next step is going to be balance. And I'm going to go into that right now. Okay. Start your balance. You start out with normal pitch. You come up and bring your leg up like this. And you want to keep your heel and your ankle a little outside of your knee with an obtuse angle. Okay. And always and don't like point it down, don't point it up, just let it lay there flat. Okay, and always keep your shoulders like over, keep your chin over your belt. If you're doing stuff like this, you're gonna be off balance and you're gonna be throwing no strikes. Some ways to get your balance better is to like, some people think brushing your teeth with your leg up the whole time is gonna get your balance better. That's something I do sometimes. Okay, balance, you should always keep your body together and Keep your body turned. Show the batter your hip pocket. If your body's turned, it'll give you more power when you throw when you turn open. Okay, let's do another review. We start out with the free pitch routine with your find your sign, get your grip, and keep your eyes on the target. And then we do our little step, turn the foot, turn up the foot, and then we go straight into balance. Next step we're going to talk about is your power position. From now on, we're going to start from the balance position on whatever we're showing. Okay, here, start from your balance position, break your hands right into your power position. What I mean when I say break your hands is come up and go like this. Throw the ball straight to center field. It looks like you're a karate kid trying to kick someone with your arms up in the air. Or another way to say it is the field goal, like in football. It's good. Going into the power position, you don't want to ever fall off balance or lean forward or fall forward. You want to just take your foot and lead with your hip and the bottom of your of the ball of your foot and lead like this. Come in, stay balanced, and just get ready to throw. And in your power position, you want to get your elbow like this pointing at the catcher. It'll help you turn your body to throw harder. 40% of the speed from the wind-up position is just all the movement from your body going forward. The other 60% is coming from this elbow and rest of your body, hips, knees, everything, everything that turns. So if you can do this, you're going to add a lot of speed to your pitches. Okay, let's go back over the power position again. It comes straight from your balance position. Your hands break, goes in, shows to the ball to the center fielder, Elbows tucked and show it to the catcher. Turn, step, and throw. Follow. The power position takes us straight into step six, which is step and throw. I'm going to do a couple throws right now. Power position, step and throw.
Step back. Turn. Balance. Power. Step and throw. Before I start going into full speed, I forgot one. I forgot the last step, which is the finish. With the finish comes after the throw. And when you finish, you want to finish with a flat back and a land comes around. After you finish, you want to be ready to field because after you throw that pitch, you're a fielder right away. Now I'm going to throw a couple pitches on full speed and try and concentrate on my finish. Thank you. 